I think all of you can attest to the fact that there is nothing more magical than moments where actors completely lose themselves in their roles. Glimpses that catch you off guard. For in those split seconds, you don't even see a glimpse of the actor and their personalities, an absolute embodiment of the fictional characters. While this essentially is the strength of any good actor and what makes them worthy of praise and awards, what's even more shocking is when sometimes you notice that the actors are fully breaking the fourth wall, trying to communicate with the audience through their art. Circumstances that compel actors to say what they personally feel in a medium witnessed by crowds. Through this video, I wanted to speak about the Indian actors who, in moments, either absolutely lost themselves in roles or took on the role of not acting but having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the audience. I would love to know your favorite picks as well. So here is Trident Refuse Productions with moments where actors were not acting. Adarsh Gaurav in White Tiger. One of the most promising newcomers in the Hindi space is Adarsh Gaurav, having consistently given compelling and emotionally hard-hitting performances over several years. His role in The White Tiger was nothing short of chameleon-like, fully embodying the sorry yet prideful state of a man frustrated of his circumstances and treatment in this hierarchical world we know as modern society. In a brilliant scene in the hustle and bustle of Chandni Chowk, Adarsh assumed his surroundings to be the stage, the frame mostly consisting of civilians organically reacting to his incessant shouting and Panic outburst. The guerrilla nature in which the scene is captured and the way Adarsh performs the scene almost felt like he lost himself in that moment, as the makers captured it like an animal in the wild. Also, we were shooting in like a very busy like Chandni Chowk, uh, the Chandni Chowk area. So like the cameras were also hidden. So logo ko pata nahi tha ke wahan pe shooting chal rahi hai. So when I got pissed at her, uh, I started also involving the people who were just walking around and they were regular pedestrians who had no idea there was a shoot happening. Wow. <laughs> and That's they thought that I was actually a mad guy. Rishab Shetty in Kantara. One of the most overwhelming theatre experiences was to see the Rishab Shetty directed film Kantara. For a person who has not grown up seeing Bhutakola, I was in awe of the climax. I can't even imagine the range of emotions natives to the state and culture may have felt. The spiritual transformation of Rishab to become Guliga as he feasts on the offering is worshipped and revered by the village folk and teaches the petty zamindars a lesson was something that is etched in my cinema viewing memory forever. Rishabh and his spiritual awakening was something that seemed to have been extracted from a higher power and energy and I am always in awe when such magic is presented from Indian cinema. So, I was watching from my childhood. If I told the other actor to recreate them, I didn't know what the rituals are. So, it would be probably difficult. When I was watching from my childhood, I was trying to do that. Nani in Jersey. There are many underdogs that I genuinely root for across languages, but there is an indescribable emotional connection that I have with Nani and his constant pursuit of diversifying his content, never making the ordinary routine, and despite the outcome of those films, sticking by his creative sensibilities. Jersey and the moment Arjun gets to know that he has been selected in the team has been a journey for many, who toil and persevere in a path where they are met with no one but naysayers. Nani represented this journey of isolation, determination and more importantly, a father wanting to see his son speak about him with pride. Many resonate with this moment for we too have been there or strive towards it. This was victory and only he knew what it took. Manoj Bajpai and Banda. In my interaction with Manoj sir for Banda, I remember he told me off camera of how personally attached he is to the subject of Banda, for he has a daughter himself and could not fathom such a horrid act ever happening to her. The courtroom scene from Banda and the dialogue delivery by Manoj Bajpai glued me to a movie straight to digital like never before. The ferocity and anger with which PC Solanki labels the godman Ravan still gives me goosebumps. The conclusion of this statement showcased by Manoj Bajpayee almost trembling like a warrior tasting blood for the first time in the line of battle. As Manoj sir clinched his fist, making the revered figure and his real nature exposed to the public, I really did feel for a moment that Manoj sir forgot that the cameras were still rolling. Bado ki izzat karna to ye khub sikhayenge. Lekin jab inhi bado se apni izzat bachani pade, तो सब डर के मारे हाथ खड़े कर देंगे पर तू डरना नहीं घबराना नहीं Salman Khan and Sultan. I have to say this in the most brief and clear way possible. When Salman Khan makes up his mind that he wants to give his heart and soul to a project, it extracts some of the most powerful performances. Sultan is one such gem in Salman's career where he physically and emotionally submitted for the turbulent journey of a wrestler, absolutely bearing it all literally in the sequence where he sees himself in the mirror, in shock of how he has let himself go. The breakdown, the struggle with his shirt, the helplessness in his eyes, all of it captured in a one long shot with no cuts. I was left speechless looking at Salman's submission 
present to the moment making us genuinely empathize and break down with sultan's predicament i savor these rare occasions when salman fully commits to a role because it is truly beautiful vikrant masi in 12th fail an actor finally getting the love he truly deserves vikrant as manoj kumar sharma left everyone spellbound for the sheer dedication to the craft and how he immersed himself in the role the moment when vikrant learns about his selection his fifth and last attempt all the days nights and years dedicated to becoming someone of a reputed stature it also beautifully is captured as vikrant just falls to his knees helplessly crying and weeping with the souls that never lost faith in his pursuit those eyes well up the overwhelming news just hits you right in the gut you can't help yourself but be in the warm embrace of your loved ones hoping this moment never goes away and just for a little longer revel in this occasion what a beautiful moment the survival instinct which manoj kumar sharma actually had and uh, he was pessimistic he, he was not sure whether he's going to make it or not but it it that particular collapse and wo ek 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 jo burden tha wo uske nikalne ke veri thi kk menon and shorya there are very few characters who can convince you of their politics through their characters roles and lines performed that are not dependent on a rousing background score but solely rest on the sheer conviction of the actor this is what kk menon communicated through the courtroom sequence in shorya a man of his traumatic experiences unabashedly says what he unequivocally feels just like those who appear in court in front of him we join them as the audience and listen with each word each thought after pause you couldn't help but be convinced that this isn't kk menon but the character himself if there is one person who i am in constant awe for his dialogue delivery it has to be kk menon ranbir kapoor and rockstar there are moments captured in film that are simply reflective of the energy all around us this is almost indescribable a feeling that can only be felt versus explained vibrations almost as if the world wanted to be just that way Kunfaya Kun and its picturization in the Nizamuddin Dargah is nothing short of a painting. The metamorphosis of Janardhan becoming Jordan is what Kunfaya Kun represents for me. And this higher power is not only captured through the storytelling in the music video where Janardhan revives himself. Ek hira jo dard ke pinjre mein mano majnu jaisa ghoom raha tha, but it symbolizes his path to a higher power. Almost with ease extracting something magical from Ranbir's eyes. It needn't be explained, but simply felt. And these moments can never be strategized. it just reflects in pure submission and the magic that may follow you know because why do i get so much of love for it and because it was when we were there so present at nizamuddin dargah because me and india used to spend a lot of time there we used to go there at night we used to sit we used to listen to the qawalis and it was it was the music it was the time in my life the weather in delhi the the, the dargah uh, you know the love that everyone had it was uh, you know i was acting it just it it was an amalgamation of everyone's energy that just came into that shot shahrukh khan and jawan i so vividly remember the experience of watching jawan and the very moment a mass action film dispersed with social messaging quickly turned into srk breaking the fourth wall and speaking to the audience directly a passionate speech urging the public to question those in positions of power and being conscious of those that they elect what is essentially the very fabric of a democracy was hilariously understood by some as a dig of the ruling party what may be people's perception of shahrukh khan and his politics the scene and its reaction made it pretty clear that urging indians to practice their fundamental rights can also be offensive Irfan Khan and Madari I often revisit Irfan Khan's movies and reflect on how early we lost him and how he had still so much more to give to the craft Being a father of two sons the underrated film Madari is something that made the actor significantly uncomfortable for the personal nature of the story of losing one's own blood and the immediate reaction of a character upon learning such news is so heartbreaking in the film achingly performed by the legend as the film just tracks along with him as he weeps uncontrollably in the hallways of a hospital we truly lost a gem too soon was you know i didn't want to do the film i love that, that scene of that hospital was, scene uh, that was difficult ek scene tha jisme mera bachcha no maine dekhi hai film mein that was very difficult i i never want to do the film you just and that was a video guys write down in the comments below when you can recall where actors completely lost themselves in roles please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.